Hi guys, my name is Emma. Welcome back. Here is the video on how I made this jacket. Um, it was actually pretty simple. Um, I think you guys would be able to do it too. So just follow the tutorial. Um, if there's anything you're not sure of, just comment it down below and I'll try and help as much as I can. And let's get on to the video. So the first step you are going to want to make is by buying a extra large button up t-shirt. This is going to be your pattern. So you're going to cut off the arms. I cut mine 20 inches, but it was a little short, so maybe 23 or more. Then you're going to grab a pair of these, what I like to call grandma jeans. They just provide a lot of extra material and they're super simple to take apart and use. So you're going to cut the front and back away from each other. This is the back of the pants. You're going to just line up that front piece of the torso onto the back piece as a template and you'll just cut it out. Then repeat it on the opposite. You're going to take the front pieces, make a straight line. You want it as straight as possible so you have a long straight rectangle. Then you're going to sew the two pants sides together to get a really big piece of fabric. Then you lay the back piece out. Don't worry if it doesn't cover the whole thing, you just want a big piece. As you can see, it's missing the top. So we cut it out and then we're going to cut a piece for the top. I sewed some leg parts together like this and then you'll want to make a straight line. Cut that. And then you'll just line that baby up with the other piece. And then you'll just place your pattern piece on top and recut it out. And then attach the two pieces. Now you've got the back piece. And then just sew the front pieces to the back pieces. And you've got the torso. Now we're gonna go to this hoodie. I used a red one. Cut off the sleeves and then sew them to the sides of the torso. Then you're gonna cut off the waist piece of the sweatshirt. And then you're going to want to trim it a little bit smaller. And then sew it to the bottom of your torso. And it kind of cinches it in a little bit. Now we're working on the pockets. I just cut out a big rectangle. And then you're going to want to learn how to make these pockets I'll keep link a tutorial down below because I'm not very good enough to explain it so I just did it as best as I could they looked really good and then I also didn't show you how to make the collar because it, it took me a while to figure out but then you're also going to add strips to the inside pieces so that you can add these buttons And you'll just follow the instructions on the back. Make sure you save that back piece so that you can have a reference as to how to do it. It's pretty simple though. You'll just mark where you want your buttons and then you'll cut little holes in those places, poke it, the button through the hole, and then just put the pieces together and then you'll just hammer it together. Um, but the box has the tutorial on it, so don't worry about it. And after you add the buttons, you're all done. All right, so that was the tutorial. I hope it was helpful. And let me know if you guys want to try it too, or if you do try it, tag me. Um, and yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. It was just a short little tutorial. It's my first time doing this is a sewing tutorial, so give me some slack, but um, yeah. I hope that they progressively get better. 
But um, yeah, I hope you guys have a great day and would love to see you soon.